Hey, this is CG1 and thank you so much for joining me once again. I know Valentine's Day is a day or two away, so I thought I'd do a Valentine's edition, hence the red shirt. <laughs> so, um, what I want to talk to you about, I know when, when I speak to people about relationships, I mean, I come across as I have some really strong ideas about it. So I thought I'll, I'll share with you on what is true love. Now, it's quite interesting, like I said, um, there's lots of things that I disagree with and things that don't necessarily hold true to my own convictions. And so I thought I'd share with you on what I believe is true love anyway. Now, when you talk about true love, then you obviously have to talk about false love or love that people think it is. And one of the things that I always hear is that oh, love is sex or sex is love. And that's quite interesting because in, in our society, in our culture, in movies, with people, like, they won't just say that, oh, yeah, I was having sex with this person. They'll say, oh, we're making love. You hear in movies, you hear, especially when it comes to um, females, they, they use that term a lot, oh, we're making love. And I'm like, love ain't something you make. What, what, what do you mean you're making love? Like, that's not love. Sex is not love. See, sex is an expression of love, but it's not. And when you equate it to love, then we get into this idea that, ah, oh, if you love me, then you have sex with me. And so one interesting thing is that I know for most females, I mean, not all, but most females, um, they would want to have sex with someone they love. And some guys who saw would, wouldn't necessarily mind whether they would, they would be happy to even have sex with someone they don't, that they don't like and even someone that they even hate as long as they want to have sex with them and it's quite interesting but it's important to know that sex is not love it's an expression of love another one and this is even more popular and that is this idea that love is a feeling now this is crazy because i remember years ago i was listening to one of my one one tune by michael jackson and it was on given to me and it's probably not as popular as its other ones but this tune given to me, he has in the, in the lyrics or the lines that love is a feeling. He even goes as far as say that love is a woman, quench your desires and a few other things. So, uh, it's, it's quite interesting because he's capturing the ideas that go around in our society that love is a feeling. But no, love is not a feeling. Love is not an emotion. Emotions are like chemicals, they change. True love is a lot deeper and emotions so the final thing I mean there's loads but the final thing because of the time that I want to share with you is you don't choose who you fall in love with now this is quite interesting because you can get into lots of debates with people they say that oh, love is blind and you don't choose who you fall in love with but can I just challenge that and say you do choose who you fall in love with because love is a choice. No, let me correct that. True love is a choice. Now, I would probably agree with those that say that oh, you don't choose who you're attracted to because attraction can be on the basis of things that are not something that you choose. But when it comes to love, because love is really a choice and not emotions or feelings, then it's not that, oh, I like this person because emotions and I remember I made a video talking about emotions and how emotions are something that changes and emotions are something that you can't necessarily control in terms of when you have it but when it comes to choosing love that's something that is a decision because the thing is like you might be thinking oh Joel you don't choose who you fall in love with and this is what I know and this that and that but fair enough that might be true for you but it's not necessarily what love is and when you understand that true love can actually choose to love someone that hates them that's when you understand that this is a lot deeper than the feelings because you might not feel like liking this person who hates you but you can choose too that's the levels that you know that this is true love you might not feel it but you know that love is not necessarily any of these things. Love is a verb. 
that based on your actions you can reap the feeling that comes but without not actually understanding that love is a choice, you miss it. So even before I finish this off, it's important to know that true love is different from what, what we normally say love is, which is genuinely lust. And lust is the negative part, not part, but love, lust is the negative thing when it comes to what we think is love. Because true love gives whilst lust takes. True love seeks to satisfy whilst lust seeks to be satisfied. True love is selfless whilst lust is selfish. I mean, I know it sounds quite similar and that's where we sometimes get confused because someone can say that they love us but truly they lust after us. If you understand that true love is more about giving, it's more about being selfless, it's more about seeking to satisfy, then you understand what true love is. It's a lot deeper so my gift to you on this Valentine's Day is to understand that true love is a choice and not a feeling but a choice that can also come with feelings but not necessarily based on feelings this is cg1 and you have the seed of greatness <laughs>